Rob, at one point, which seems a very long time ago, you were eight points up and it was looking like the win was going your way, but suddenly everything changed entirely. What do you make of that test match out there? Uh, well, it, the whole the whole game evolved around those roller coaster of emotions that happened, didn't they? Um, I think you know Montpellier started very well, kind of kind of playing the way we expected, which was you know coming at pace at you in short bursts, really, because they scored their tries quickly, didn't they? Either, either we made a mistake or it was a little turnover, and then bang, they're at you. And we kind of knew that was how they wanted to play. We wanted to kind of create a game that was a bit more higher ball in playtime, getting through longer phases, making them have to to work longer in attack and defence. And we slowly made that happen. That slowly brought us back into the game. And it kind of, we kind of took some control. And weirdly, it almost felt like the red card was more of a lift to them emotionally than it was for us. We kind of flat spotted after the red card. We, we failed to convert, we failed to score the try. And that looked like it kind of dented us more than it and, it, and it lifted Montpellier. And then the game became a bit more about them playing magnificently with 14 men, which they did. You know, for the length of the time they fought there with 14 men is incredible. And, and I think you've got to give a lot of credit to them. That, like I say, that emotion, we, we kind of had some emotions around that that looked a bit odd. But then again, and it's very typical of us, when we absolutely have to go flat out, we are a very, very good side. And then when we feel comfortable, we drop into feeling comfortable and we look like we're walking in, we're treading in mud, really, which for some periods, that's what it looked like in defence. And how they, how they found as much space with 14 men was incredible at times. But again, I think it was a really important fixture because we've come through it. We've come through those emotional highs, emotional lows. Hopefully uh, we've shown that bit of resilience, we've come through it, and this can be something we can grow from and this can create like a baseline for our performance levels. Well, you were actually so close to defeat there. What were you thinking at that point? Because last week's loss was extremely disappointing <coughs> and then to have lost here, that would have been a double whammy, essentially. Uh, no, they're, they're entirely different things. If we'd have lost today, we'd have been disappointed and we'd have had some frustration and we'd have had to look at two, some decision-making things, but we wouldn't have been able to question the commitment or how hard the lads have played, how often they've dragged themselves back into the game, you know, the way we went after it at the end. Th that would have all felt OK, and that's the key for us. The key is for us to feel OK about performances, win or lose, and that will keep us way more competitive than we've been in, say, some of our away games. Because what, what would have today brought? Today would have brought the very least the losing bonus point against a very good team. We'd have scored a dry, try bonus point as well. That kind of thing you can deal with. What you can't deal with is just looking like you're nowhere near. And that's happened to us a couple of times this season. But I feel like we're getting through that already. And you now have secured a home quarter final. Just how important is that? Because your record here is now 11 straight at home. Um, it's important. I mean, the I see the wry smile on your face uh, there. The Stormers looked pretty good yesterday. Uh, we, we got a short turnaround now, but then they've got to get over here from South Africa. So, you know, I, it'll be interesting. I think I think we'll certainly be in a situation to pose them, you know, some serious problems. We we do back ourselves, and we back ourselves here. I thought the crowd today took off. I thought they were magnificent at the end, and if there was a there was a real genuine bit of emotional connection there at the end. And I think that's something we're going to strive for. Something we've got to kind of reignite to to push us forward through the next few seasons. But I think this is a team that can can make that happen. Well, it was a thoroughly entertaining rugby match. Very well done. Congratulations, because you do have a home quarter final next week. Well done. Thank you very much.